motion in a circle. There are many examples around us where we can observe objects going round in a circle or part of a circle. An example would be a car making round a turn, the planets moving around the sun, or the cyclists going round the cycle, cycle track, the minutes and the hour hands of the clock. So now we will move on to the next section which is on the kinematics of uniform circular motion. What is the meaning of uniform circular motion? Before that, let's take a look at the meaning of kinematics. Kinematics means study of motion. We describe uniform circular motion in terms of theta, which is the angular displacement, omega, which is the angular velocity, v, the linear velocity, and a, the acceleration. Uniform circular motion means object going round in a circle at a constant speed. Comparing uniform circular motion and that of linear or projectile motion. So in projectile motion, we use VUAST to describe the motion, but in uniform circular motion, we usually describe in the theta, omega, V and A. Angular displacement theta. Consider an object going round in a circle Let's suppose that the angle it displays is theta. Angular displacement theta is defined as the ratio of the arc length to that of the radius. So, angle in radians will be equal to the actual distance traveled along the arc divided by the radius of circle. In linear motion, we have linear velocity to be equal to the change of displacement over time taken and linear velocity is ds over dt where s is the displacement the SI unit is meter per second so if you do an analogy for circular motion instead of linear velocity we are interested in the angular velocity instead of linear displacement we should be talking about angular displacement and therefore the, the formula for angular velocity omega will be d theta over dt. The unit for angle is radian, so the SI unit for angular velocity will be radian per second. Now let's consider a particle going round in a circle. So for one complete oscillation, the angular velocity will be equal to omega d theta over dt where d theta here is the angle subscribed which is 2 pi and t is the periodic time from frequency equals to 1 over t we get the formula omega equals to 2 pi f 